hello everyone welcome to my channel i welcome you all this is a video particularly to how to read this v raghavan book which is material science and engineering so some students had asked that sir please make some videos where you tell us about the different books and what are the chapters we need to study so how we can proceed in that so now if you <coughs> see this book so this book is very important to study this physical metallurgy part and it also contains multiple choice questions which we have solved and also you can solve by yourself so that you will get a very good practice so now see <coughs> if you see this book the chapters are like okay now see the chapters right like introduction equilibrium and kinetics crystal geometry and structure determination so if you see the first three chapters if you leave this introduction part also it is fine because introduction is very basics okay chapter 2 is very important equilibrium and kinetics then chapter 3 is very very important because crystal geometry and structure determination many questions are asked from this chapter 3 <coughs> next Uh, chapter four is also very important: atomic structure and chemical bonding. Like so, in this chapter, you will study the different kinds of bond, like ionic, covalent, and metallic bond, which is stronger, which is directional. So these concepts you will learn. Next is the structure of solid. So in the case of structure of solid, you will see different uh, kinds of solids, like covalent solids, metals and alloys. What is metal? What is alloy? What are compounds? Okay. then you will study some polymers so polymer is also important right in the case of polymer we know that some questions are asked like high density polymer low density city polymer next is the chapter 6 which is also very important this deals with the imperfections in the solids like point defects line defects these things then the phase diagram so phase diagram is one of the most important chapter the phase rule you know the phase rule single component system binary phase rule so everything is important in this phase diagram then diffusion in solid this is also chapter which you need to study right so some topics like kirkendall effect so these are some uh, different topics so you should also study this kirkendall effect also then phase diagram phase transformation phase transformation you know it is also very important next is chapter 10 elastic and elastic and visco elastic behavior this chapter is not very uh, important you can skip or you can just uh, read in a very light way you just uh, read it and if you find some useful thing you can keep it otherwise you can leave this chapter also chapter 11 it is important plastic deformation and creep in crystalline then next is the fracture so fracture is also very important okay then the oxidation and corrosion oxidation and corrosion is also important but here you will get uh, the basic idea of corrosion uh, for this corrosion i would also tell you to read fontana book some parts of fontana books i may tell that contains also later on next is the conductors and resistors Now see conductors and resistors. Uh, if you want to go in deep, then you can read this. But I would suggest you to read at a surface level to just understand how this conduction happens, how electrons flow. The next is the semiconductor. So semiconductor is important chapter. You should read it. You know, in the semiconductor, you read all the sections. But if you go inside of the semiconductor, initial two three sections you can skip right i will tell you next is magnetic material you read this magnetic material also i would suggest you to read it complete then this dielectric material dielectric material uh, you can skip but i would suggest you to read some basic things like what is dielectric material and what are they you do not read whole concept okay then nano material nano material you can skip completely because nano nanomaterials generally questions is not asked okay so this briefly i have just told you okay guys
Now if you want me to go by chapter by chapter then it will take more longer time. Okay, chapter 1 it is you can skip. Chapter 2 you see. These are the things. Okay. Chapter 3 I told you it is important. Okay. Okay, these are all important things. Okay, I will go fast actually. If I go very slowly, it will take very much time. Chapter 6, it is important. <coughs> Later on, if you go inside of the chapter, you can decide by yourself also according to the syllabus whether this part is important or not. You see, in the case of diffusion, uh, these are the concepts related to carburizing and decarburizing. So you solve both carburizing as well as decarburizing questions. Okay. Then this tells you about the critical free energy for nucleation, right? And the different free energy relation between homogeneous and heterogeneous, like at angle 0 degree, 180 degree, 90 degree okay guys so these are all important things okay this we have reached to fracture okay you see in the conductors and register so they will see many concepts these are some basic concepts you know about this but you don't read completely everything like these formula this formula okay the conductor part these things you can skip but here numerical I think it is somewhat relevant so you can see this numerical like superconducting material so you just read what are the things what are the different uh, superconducting material so basic things are asked basically this then go to semiconductor semiconductor you read these concepts like conduction band valence band fermi energy see fermi energy in a semiconductor and fermi energy in a normal metal it is defined in a different way right so that concept you learn from this book then how this semiconductor is made like single crystal growth so Klarsky method this is very famous and it is asked in some year it has been asked okay next it is not so important other topic um, okay guys now let us move to this magnetic material to this semiconductor magnetic material so you know these things are the basics Okay, like this concept, magnetization, Bohr magnetron, Bohr magnetron is a here, see this, Bohr magnetron concept is also important, read this, okay, hysteresis loop, you read this, soft magnetic material, so in the magnetic material you can, you should read I think every section. You see dielectric material, dielectric material, see various formulas are there. So these are not required. So that's why I told you that in the dielectric material, you don't need to read whole. So these concepts are there. You can skip these things. Next it is, I think, nanomaterial, right? So nanomaterial, these concepts are very, will be very new for uh, just a uh, metallurgist. Because generally we do not study so much of nanomaterial at our bachelor's level and in the gate also it is not asked. So why we should waste time reading this. Okay. So this is the brief from my side at how you should read. So I will come with some other video also where I will tell you to how to read some other sections. So this is a very good book. You can have this book. Okay and read it so thank you all